so if it gets dissipated then we have to worry about useful sources and the sources of energy which will be continuously able to supply energy to us so that we can progress we can use the industrialization to our benefit all right now what is a good source of energy there are good sources and there are bad sources okay so and uh, can we do something about the uh, uh, the quality of sources can we use technology to improve the nature of the sources the efficiency of the sources okay so what are the sources of energy which items supply as the source can you think of some i'll let you answer a question you are suppose wanting to cook food these days if you want to cook you food what do you use you either use gas from the cylinder or you can use electricity there are devices which use electricity to produce heat and that heat cooks the food but very very many years ago or at different places let's find out what can be the sources of energy suppose i ask you a question that you are in a forest and what source of energy is easily available or you would use you would immediately think of wood of course you would need to burn it to produce heat to cook food what if you are in a remote village or on an island that's interesting you would have sun all the time whenever of course it's a day so you can use the solar energy if you have some device you can use wind energy moving wind or you can even use moving water if i don't know whether you have seen it but if you cross villages in a vehicle or in a train or some other thing then you would see the uh, wind mills so there are wind mills which use wind to produce to move things and these wind mills used to in fact uh, 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 used to lift water from a well so in the villages you would still see them they were used uh, in olden days water moving water in kerala it is known that the logs of the wood are moved along moving rivers from a big from a height to a lower place so it is the water which is pushing them and you are effectively using uh, the kinetic energy of running water to move the logs so sun is available in such a place that can be used we'll come to the details of that later well suppose you are in a town we have discussed that that in a town we would use either the uh, gas or electricity and what about the uh, suppose you lived many many years back many centuries back okay so centuries back what did they use okay they also used coal and by by the way even these days we can use we use coal okay and uh, no we don't use petrol to cook the food but coal is used often okay in a jungle also you can use coal if it is easily available so coal was used and wood was used so these are the sources of energy okay so this is just gives you an example now were these sources nice sources good sources why what do you mean by good what do you want in a in a in a source of energy first thing should be that it should be easily available easily available or accessible we call it accessible if it is not easily accessible then you spend energy to to get that energy you run around look for it go travel long distance to get it so easily accessible is a is a necessary thing also it should be efficient what do i mean by that you take 1 kg of say coal one kind of coal and another kind of coal 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 a coal b this gives you 700 joule of energy and this gives you 500 joule of energy where why is it less so you realize of course that this is a better source of energy so it it gives you so it is more efficient just by the way why does it give this why does this energy uh, 
um, where does this energy go? The less, the less amount, lesser amount, right? Why is the energy less here supplied by this source? The reason may be that uh, the co the energy source or the coal gives a, a different kind of flame, gives a lot of smoke, maybe wet, right? So there might be different reasons why it does so. But in that case, we you understand that if the energy produced per unit mass one kg or per unit volume one liter, if it is more the source is efficient, if it is less, the source is not that efficient. So, efficiency is an important uh, criterion for a good source. It should be easy to, easier to store and transport, store and transport. How do you store electricity? Well, in storage cells. How do you store sound? Difficult. How do you store light? Difficult. How do you store heat? Well, one simple thing that I can think of is use water, hot water. Water has a high specific heat capacity. So, once it is heated, it retains the heat for a longer time. So, water, hot water is a good idea, right? But keep it in a rubber bottle, rubber or insulated bottle. So, you have these uh, fomentations, these water bottles, heat, heating water bottles, which are used by, by people to reduce the pain, right? They store heat. This is one example. So, storing is important. Otherwise, how do you use the energy when you need it? You don't always have the source around you. So, storage is important. Transport. Towns and cities and the villages are not near the energy sources all the time. So, energy has to be transported to villages, to cities, to industries, etc. Now, it's, e it's easier to transport electrical energy. Electrical energy. It is, rather, it is rather difficult to transport heat. It is, light can be transported easily. Of course, it requires optical cables, optical fibers, etc. But normally, we have electrical energy which is transported. So, transport, transporting energy is an important aspect of a good source. And lastly, it should be, very importantly, it should be economical. If it is expensive, we are not going to buy it, right? And therefore, our efficiency will be decreased. We will not be able to work. We will not be able to have a comfortable light, right? No fans, no fridges, no ACs, no music systems, right? no vehicles. So, if energy is expensive, most of the people cannot afford it. Our country is as it is, not a very rich country, it is a poor country. So, economy of the energy is a very important aspect. So, these four things are very important for good sources of energy.